Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review, and I'm super excited to dive in today to the Wexley Finley Ballistic Sling Pack. All right. So this is one that uh, jumped the queue um, in, my, in my planned reviews. I've got all kinds of bags that I'm supposed to be uh, getting to quickly and um, get in front of you guys, but I I've been using this one for the last couple of weeks and uh, it jumped the queue. <laughs> it jumped straight to the front of the line and I'm excited to walk through. So you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. We're gonna walk through the inside and outside of this bag. We're going to be talking about two things we like, two things not so much about this bag, and then an overall recommendation. Uh, should you buy this bag? Is this bag everything it is cracked up to be, and is it worth the money? All right, so let's dive in. So Finley is the name of this model. Wexley is the name of the brand itself. So I'm gonna put links, as always, in the video description. So this bag is a sling from Wexley Bags. Um, I, I gotta say, first off, I love the look. This is about as classic and minimal as you can get with a tech sling or a day sling. Um, looks like kind of an old school, and I don't mean this in an insulting way, but kind of a, an old school laptop bag that would have come with the laptop you bought in the late 90s or early 2000s. Um, it looks very, very classic, very, very simple. The material on the exterior itself is rugged as heck. It is like 1680, I think, uh, D nylon ballistic material. So it's Cordura fabric. Um, the grab handle is super beefy. The zippers are all AquaGuard um, from YKK. They've got these nice uh, kind of rubberized zipper pulls. You have Fidlock um, on the uh, Compression straps, two compression straps on the bottom, two on the side. You've got D-ring attachment point here, D-ring attachment point here. Uh, yeah, it's it's really, really nice. Um, you've got very minimal branding, a little tiny logo there, and that is it. Nothing else, no big garish logos on this bag. Uh, when we flip it around, you get to what I think is one of the most interesting features here. Let me flip the strap out of the way. Look at that. So this is kind of a elevated honeycomb uh, back panel. It's gonna be hard to, set, hard to see, but it's more 3D than you think it is. And it's really, really comfortable. It, it almost feels like sitting against one of those beaded seat cushions in, in a truck or a car. Um, but it, it feels really comfortable when you're wearing this bag. You'll also notice that the strap itself is a really uh, beefy, it, it's not like the world's best quality. You're not getting like a chrome buckle or anything, but what they've done here is they've put in something that's really robust and, you know, honestly, sometimes the big fancy buckles aren't worth the extra weight, if I'm being honest. So. These buckles are hidden away even inside these kind of covers and uh, I, I don't miss having like a, a metal cam buckle or a seat belt buckle or anything like that. Um, so the strap itself is my favorite strap setup, which is a strap that comes off at, uh, we'll call it nine o'clock, nine and noon on, on a clock face, which means that it is designed to be worn cross body instead of um, worn as a um, different style of bag or a messenger. Um, when it's set up at nine and noon, um, you know that it's designed to be a crossbody purpose built for that. So lots of cool stuff here. We're gonna dive into the pockets and there's a lot to look at. Super smooth zipper pull action and you do have pull tabs um, should you want to use them on both sides and a little zipper garage on this side as well. And now you're seeing one of the coolest new features here. Boom, look at that. You've got a kind of a real classic gold interior here. It's not yellow. It may look yellow, but it is uh, 
it is gold. Okay, so what's going on in this front pocket? Well, you've got an admin pocket up front, and this is gonna be very hard to show you, but I'm gonna do my absolute best. Admin pocket up front, you've got uh, one big slip pocket, two pin holders, and then a front mesh slip pocket. Um, in, then on this side, you've got a zippered mesh section, and then behind the whole thing, you have you know, a whole nether slip pocket that runs the whole length of the pocket. And I've got knives and flashlights and lip balm and all the usual, my AirPods are in here, all the usual stuff that you put in your admin pockets fits with no problem, some blue light blocking glasses. Um, so little bit of room for everything up front. And I'll try and show you here. See, you've got the front section with the admin and then a back section with it's just a big giant slip pocket. All right, now we talk main compartment. You can see the Wexley logo right here. On the front side of this bag, you have two drop pockets. I've got my gimbal in one and I've got my power cords in the other. This uh, setup in here reminds me a lot of the Metro Monger um, setup from Green Room 136. And then I've got another little phone holder and miscellaneous stuff. Um, on the inside here, you have two stretchy pockets, and these are set up as water bottle holders on the inside there which is really tough to find in a sling, if I'm being honest. More cords. And then on the back section, you have a slip pocket here, which is uh, set up as a tablet holder, but it's a little bit tight for that, I found. So I've used it for a little bit more cords and small goods carrying. And then on the back side, a really well cushioned with black felt and cushion laptop holder holds up to a 15 inch laptop with no problem okay so a really useful setup inside this bag and it does of course expand with these compression straps at the bottom and you can make it kind of full briefcase messenger size in there with no issues at all all right we have one more pocket to talk about, which is on the back side here. And it is not in gold. It is in kind of champagne color, I would call it. And that's for a wallet. And this section back here, it's a hidden pocket. You can put your passport in there as well. It's RFID blocking in this back section, in this hidden pocket. So that is an interesting bag. Let's talk to through two things we love about this bag, two things that we think could have been a little bit different or better about this bag. The, uh, the <laughs> Finley Sling from Wexley. I keep wanting to call it the Wexley Sling from Finley. It is the Finley Sling from Wexley. So, uh, the first thing that I really like about this bag is the setup on the back here. And not just this panel, which is really, really comfortable, but also the strap setup, which you know, it is sometimes hit or miss, but look at this. It rides just right. And I just put it on wrong, so there you go. That's how it rides just right. One take bag reviews sometimes are a mess. <laughs> but I've, I got it sorted out there. You can wear it, that's when you wear it vertically like this. That's how I found it to be most comfortable. But you also have the option of wearing it on the other shoulder, and then it rides horizontally instead of vertically. That's how they've got it in their advertising on their webpage. I liked it vertical instead, um, which I guess would only be a problem with the water bottle holders in there. So I really, really like the back panel here. Feels great. And then the setup of the straps carries the weight of the bag and distributes it really well. And then these beefy attachment points just feel really solid and sturdy and nice. 
So that's the first thing I really like about the bag. The second thing I really like about the bag is the main compartment. Love the gold material, love the laptop um, compartment. These two pockets are incredibly useful. And then the water bottle holders. Uh, so in practice, what I found is that they aren't great water bottle holders, but they are wonderful side pockets. And so, you know, if you're looking at this bag and saying, wow, I've got to get this bag because it's got two water bottle holders, I, I think you'll be disappointed. They're 20 ounce water bottle sized and you're not going to get much else in there. They've got stretch, they're elastic, but that's what they are. They're designed for small water bottles. You're not going to toss your Nalgene in there. But they are wonderful little stash pockets. They're mesh and you can toss things in there and they don't jangle around in the bottom of the sling bag. So I really like how this main compartment is laid out. So the main compartment is wonderful. The straps are insanely comfortable. The back panel is really comfortable and holds the weight really well. All right, let's talk about two things that I think could have maybe been a little bit better on this bag. The first thing that I don't like as much about this bag is this front section, okay? And I'm usually on team more pockets, but in this instance, I would have, I'm on team less pockets. And here's what I would change. This front section, the admin pocket itself, just every time you open the bag, just flops down and in, in favor of this main, this pocket that is behind the admin, which makes this whole section kind of feel like the main pocket is this drop pocket. The admin panel being on a secondary flap here just makes the admin panel itself not really the focus of this section and a little bit hard to use, unfortunately, especially when you've got it loaded out, it even more flops towards the front. So if I, we're designing this bag, I would have just sewn the admin panel onto the back section there. And frankly, I may look and see if I'm able to do that. Um, but I would like that when you open this up, you've got the drop pocket in the front and then the admin panel attached to the back of that pocket rather than almost feeling like it's just a throw in to what is a big drop pocket. So I don't love the admin panel setup only because of the floppiness of the admin panel itself. The second thing that I don't like as much about this bag is actually in the main compartment and it is um, this tablet sleeve. I don't know what they could have done differently here, but a beefier sleeve um, for, for a tablet would have been nice. This is a small 11 inch Chromebook. You can see that it is usable but it's again floppy. So everything about the inside of this bag is just a little floppy, not taut, not tight. Um, the laptop panel is absolutely bonkers excellent. Tablet panel, not so much. A really weird one I didn't like as much either is the feel of the RFID pocket. Um, the size of it is epic. Like the, the placement and size of it is epic. The material itself feels like crepe paper. Um, didn't love that. But overall, I love this thing and I, w I was surprised the degree to which I did love it and I ordered this in the regular ballistic because the, that has the gold interior. The X-Pac bag that they have on site doesn't have the gold interior and I think the gold interior is just such a classy look for this sling bag. So if you're in the market for a business sling, okay, this is a just tech bag that you're going to keep your laptop, a tablet, some headphones, just your daily carry gear. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. It's really, really well built. It's very sturdy. The pocket layout is good. The admin panel is a little weak in my opinion. Um, but overall, I, I like this. And I like this even more than the Air Tech Sling and the Air um, travel sling. I don't like it more than my day sling max three from air. I definitely like it better than the nomadic navigator sling. So this jumps up towards the top of my slings that can carry a 15 inch laptop list, um, 
which is not a, not a super long list really. Um, so overall, great laptop sling. I think you would be very happy with this purchase if you like the look of it. Um, premium materials, very subtle understated look to the bag um, and very comfortable to carry. That's it for now, Wanderers. I hope you enjoyed this review and we will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.